It's simple, really. I need you to keep an eye on someone. Here? In New York City. Plus wherever else he ends up. Right now, he's in New York City. Up in Harlem. You see, I thought you'd be a Negro, a transplant like him. You're not, which is too bad, when you think about it. You'll do, though. It'd be harder if it was the other way around. I don't live in New York. You will. For how long? Until you're finished the assignment, he said. Is that a problem? I felt a strange and urgent need to win his approval. It won't be a problem, I said. Believe me, sir. It won't be a problem. Good. One other thing. This arrangement stays strictly between you and me. That's not an option. Nobody else knows about it, understand? Yes. If you tell anyone, your barber, your dentist, your girlfriend, if you ever get one, the deal is off, get it? Yes. You go straight to Sing Sing, and it's 1950 before you see the outside again. Got it? I understand. Say it again. I understand. Again! I understand. I swear, I understand completely. I won't say a word, not to anyone. I've never understood anything so well in my life. Of course you do. I had a good feeling about you. I didn't know how to take this evaluation. Was he praising my common sense? Or my cowardice? Now wipe the snot from your face. Have some pride, Tormez. Do I need to sign something? That won't be necessary. Who's the man? His name is Hubert Julian. What did he do? That I do not yet know. He shook a match free of the box and swiped it on the side to get it lit. Is he a red? I asked. An anarchist? In those years, all the authorities were worried about reds and anarchists. Unclear, Trigg said, finally touching the flame to the pipe's mouth. He circled the bowl with the match head, sucking in smoke with shallow puffs until he had it burning. The smoke smelled fruity and acrid at the same time. But I know he's up to something. It's on you to find out what.